you come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair, you petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please! Wait! Oh, wait just a tick! Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have... Always will. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm. I have something you want. If you're gloating now, just wait till you hear my offer, Petal. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. A simple trade. More deception. Take her head. It's your choice, sweetness. Greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. <laughs> I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal. What about my husband? What happens to him? Deal's off, you dumb cow. And you've her to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Bollocks to luck. It's only the deal that counts. Bye-bye, Petal. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Ethel was going to bring my husband back, back from the dead, and now I'll never see him again, because of you! She would have! I had everything figured out. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this... All this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. said I'd make a bad mother. I... I think she was right. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Very well. Is the hat gone? Gods, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods. You. You're the one. The mind flayer.
No. The hag's gift is gone, but it's... It's going to happen. Soon. I saw you screaming. Covered in your own insides as that... That thing bursts out of your skull. You change. Skin ripping from your body and then you butcher... Everyone. Everyone around you. I... I don't know. It could be a ten day. It could be any moment. I can't do this. You're too dangerous. I'm... I'm sorry. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> Not even a little bit. But I will be. No! He deserves a proper burial! He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? Oh, this isn't what she promised. I wanted him back. I'll find him and bring him back. Thanks. But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember... And thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go.